Welcome back. Today, drones are actively used in a range of industrial disciplines and have also landed in the lucrative pastures of recreational use. Also, educationalists have begun to harness the power of these small unmanned aerial vehicles to engage students and to bring lessons to life in the modern classrooms. This also helps students to be more engaged with certain subjects like science, technology, engineering and maths. In Ghana, students at the Accra Technical University will, from January, be able to study drone technology and 3D printing in a purpose-built lab. Land administration, risk assessment, forestry management, urban planning and coastal zone management are courses that can also benefit from the use of drones. Joining us now is a tech expert, Emmanuel Izinwiri, to discuss more on this. Thank you for joining us on Network Africa. Thank you. The pleasure is mine. How effective do you think this course will be for students? Very effective. Um, the drone industry is worth, according to a PwC study, $127 billion. And you already have a billion dollar drone company, DJI. So I think there are lots of opportunities in the drone space industry. And it's, it's important that we're able to leverage these opportunities now as they're emerging. So in Africa. would you recommend this kind of academic course to universities here in Nigeria? Yes, absolutely. I think we should have courses on drone regulations, designing and uh, engineering drones, as well as other aerial vehicles. So drones are unmanned aerial vehicles. We should also have courses teaching manned aerial vehicles as well. What about for people that don't have the, you know, the money to get drones? What would you advise then? Or what would you say the government can do to help support people like this? Um, one way the government can help with um, ensuring that we're part of the drone industry is in making our regulations you know, a bit lighter and more flexible to enable people to come into the drone space. Um, the the, the advantage, advantages of the drone industry against all other um, aerospace industries is that it's far easier and cheaper to, to build a drone, to manufacture a drone, so you don't require as much um, capital investment as other aerospace industries. Okay, this course is for students. Help us understand this a bit more. What can people, you know, get out of this? What can they go on to do after this sort of course? Um, so for me, I, I have a startup, Iron, a drone delivery company, and this is one of the many applications for drones. You have the um, drones disrupting the filming and cinematography industry. You have the surveillance and remote sensing industry, and you have the logistics and mobility industry as well. So I'd encourage people to look out for industries that they can disrupt or they can improve using drones and start um, a company in that direction. Here in Nigeria, the Nigerian military has recently admitted to insurgent group Boko Haram using drones to gather intelligence on troops. Could this yeah. help in any way? How can we... Yeah, yeah. So, so the problem is them using drones, so the, a solution would be to design solutions around car, catching the drone while it's flying, and that would involve some form of aerospace technology or maybe a drone that would attack that other drone. So yeah, it involves catching and removing the, um, the violent drone out of the airspace. Okay, but then also with more drones that there is also an invasion of privacy, are there any like regulatory board that can stop this from happening to ensure that no one's spying on use, with the use of drones? Yes, so these are the primary concerns of the NCAA, the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, to make sure that people that fly drones understand uh, the rules and regulations around flying them, they don't violate privacy, so it's important that Every drone owner should go through the, um, the license procurement process before where they learn how to operate their drones without violating people's privacy. Okay, we'll have to look forward to the drone future. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Emmanuel Isenwari, tech expert, thank you for joining us on Network Africa. pleasure is mine. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. In Egypt, the Global Migration Film Festival showcases films focusing on migration within the wider public in the country's capital, Cairo. 
The movies cover various themes on migration, including labour migration, border management and children on the move. It began on November 28 and will run until December 18. Stories on migration, including sexual violence, human trafficking and integration, are showcased as part of a global migration film festival in Egypt, as well as a hundred other countries. The third edition of the festival, organized by the International Organization for Migration, includes the screening of 30 films in Cairo and Alexandria. The chosen films range from short films and documentaries to fiction stories. It's a representative of the International Organization for Migration which has launched the initiative we believe is indeed important, but not important only to, to have watch films on migration. It's important because we would like to have people understanding the challenges and the opportunities that migration is posing to the world. Uh, everybody talks about migration, but unfortunately not necessarily right world. We are forgetting that all of us or part of us, members of families have been migrants, they even do it always with an easy way and we want to remind people that the world is made of a, a series of cultures of people living together and migration is part of us. Organizers say each edition caters to a particular theme, and this year's theme is the promise and challenge of migration and the positive contributions migrants make to their communities. Other themes in previous years include labor migration, border management, and children on the move. The Global Migration Film Festival was first launched in 2016 by the IOM as part of a larger effort to heighten international awareness on the rising phenomenon of migration. Showing migration with, uh, you know, with people telling stories is a, is a very important one. Because migration can be something where you uh, have prejudices, where you don't understand, you have some fears and everything. And it's important to hear the people, to hear the migrants, why they are migrating, what efforts they are doing for integrating themselves and uh, with this angle you can see it differently and I think we can see how much these people are able actually to contribute uh, to our country. According to the 2018 World Migration Report, there are 244 million international migrants globally, over 40 million internally displaced persons and over 22 million refugees. The festival is part of a wider initiative meant to broaden the world's awareness and understanding of migration and is expected to run until December the 18th. That's it on the program. Thanks for watching. I'm Teniola Shubawali.